the topic for today's video is arithmetic circuit now firstly what are arithmetic micro operations arithmetic micro operations consist of operations such as add subtract multiply and so on what we are going to learn in this video is how can arithmetic micro operations be implemented by a means of single arithmetic circuit so we need to make certain we need certain components for making this circuit what we need is we need multiplexers and full adders we need four multiplexers and four full adders multiplexers need to be of 4 cross 1 and similarly full adders we need firstly to understand the crux of this circuit we need to understand what is multiplexer and a full adder firstly let's talk about multiplexer multiplexer is something in which on the basis of select lines we get an output for example if you are using a 4 cross 1 max what does this mean is we have 4 inputs out of which 1 input is selected on the basis of S1 and S0 that is the select lines and 1 output is generated similarly what is full adder a full adder is something in which the add operation can be performed for example if we have two operands a and b and a is made up of four bits a1 a0 a1 a2 and a3 similarly b is made up of b0 b1 b2 and b3 if we need to add these the individual bits of both the operands are added and the carry is also added to those for example a0 will be added to b0 plus the carry input will give an output plus the carry then a1 and b1 will be added plus the carry generated here will be added here and we will again get an output following these steps we will add all the bits and we will get a final output and a final output carry this is the working of full adders and mux now coming back to our arithmetic circuit what we need is 4 cross 1 marks and full adders right then what we what we are doing using the circuit is we are adding two operands 4 bit each we are getting D as the final outputs and C out as the final carry out. What else we need is C in that is the carry input which is carry input connected to the full adder like this C not then the carry generated from this full adder is transferred to the other full adder and so on. Now every multiplexer works for every individual bits of a we need a0 a1 a2 and a3 one is the x input which is a input directly going to the x input of the full adder a is the first operand which enters directly to the full adder at the position x0. Next position is y0 which needs the second operand. But the second operand is not added directly. It will be selected by the mux on the basis of select lines. Therefore mux has s0, s1 as two select lines then four inputs first input will be b other will be b complement 
third will be zero, fourth will be one. Out of these four inputs, on the basis of select lines, one input will be selected and will enter the Y input of the full adder. Similarly, for the next marks, A1, that is the second bit of the first octant, will enter the X input of the full adder directly, whereas B1, B1 complement 0 or 1. These are the four inputs for the second marks plus the select line which will select one of these four entering into the Y input of the full adder. This is your final diagram for the arithmetic circuit. Now let's see how does this arithmetic circuit work on the basis of a two table. The arithmetic circuit works on an equation which is d is equal to x plus y plus c n. This equation gives us all the arithmetic operations being performed using this arithmetic circuit where d is the final output x is the a operand which enters directly into the full adder y is the b operand but it can be b b complement 0 or 1 which is done on the basis of select lines s1 and s0 this is the carry input now making the two table for this arithmetic circuit we have certain things S1, S0, Cn, then Y and then the value of D. Now S1 and S0 can be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Looking at the diagram, for first case that is 0th position we wrote B. Whenever S1 and S0 both will be 0, the value of Y will be B. For 0, 1, we took B complement. It will be B complement. For 1, 0, we took 0. And for 1, 1, we took 1. For every select line, C can be either 0 or 1. So, repeating everything. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, on the basis of these values, we will compute the value of the output that is D. Putting these values into this equation, we will get a value for D. For first case, D as we said is X plus Y plus C N. X is always A, Y in this case is B and C N is 0. So this operation results to a plus b which is normal add so next case it is a plus b plus 1 because the carry value here is 1 hence it is addition with carry next a plus b bar plus 0 which says subtract with borrow how does this mean subtraction with borrow i'll just discuss it next case is a plus b bar plus one which is normal subtraction now let us look at these two cases in detail as you all know subtraction that is a minus b can also be written as a plus two's complement of b what is 2's complement of b b bar plus 1 therefore a minus b can be written as a plus b bar plus 1 which is this a minus b this is written here therefore it is known as subtraction now subtracting 1 from this we get a plus b bar that means we have borrowed 1 
and hence it can be written as subtraction with borrow. Next case is a plus 0 plus 0 which gives a and which is known as transfer. The transfer of a to b directly. Next is a plus 0 plus 1 which results in a plus 1 which can be named as increment. Coming to the second last. This is a plus 1. But looking at this case in detail, a plus 1. Firstly, we need to know that a number with all 1s, a number with all 1s is 2's complement of 1. Therefore, as we said in this case, a minus b is a plus b plus choose complement of b. Therefore, instead of b, if I take 1, so a minus 1 will be a plus 1 plus 1, that is choose complement of 1. That is adding choose complement 1 of 1 to a results in a minus 1. Hence, it can be written as a minus 1, that is decrement. Next is, as we get a minus 1 from this case, we write a minus 1 plus the carry 1 which results in a giving the transfer operation again. So this was all about arithmetic circuit. Basically we need is 4 multiplexers, 4 full adders, right? We have 2 inputs a and b of 4 bits each. Every multiplexer is used for individual bits of A and B. We are getting X0 and Y0 from the marks. A is entering directly to the X0. B operand is selected from the multiplexer and then sent to the Y input of the full adder. And carry input is entering into the full adder plus the D0 which is the final output. And this is the truth table giving all the multiple micro operations performed in this arithmetic circuit.